What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the Labyrinth, the brand new Labyrinth for Rising of the Shield Hero, and I wanted to do a video going over my run where I cleared the fight, um, because, you know, if you don't, you know, select the correct characters, it's going to be kind of rough for you guys. Um, so obviously, first things first, as you can see from the beginning, pick Kizuna. That's going to be the most important thing from the jump of the fight, is you want to actually have Kizuna because she's going to be such a broken character in the fact that she attacks AoE, does AoE pierce damage, and then also just ranks up her own hand, which can be very broken. So as you can see, she just is very stupid. So um, yeah, the best tips I can give you guys, uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll give you guys my tips, and then whenever I like need to come in and, and kind of speak... Uh, on parts of the fight i'll come in and i'll and i'll talk but the rest will just probably just be music but basically um you want to try and prioritize getting the shield heroes specifically i would say philo and kizuna um and the thing that's that's really good about this is that you can get both kizuna and philo in the first two uh, slots as you can see um right there i, I pick philo but yeah you're able to get like both the characters from the jump early so if you're very lucky you can start with both of them and that's and that's really good um, I, I would say try to avoid, uh, older characters in Grand Cross. Like, if you guys are not, if you're new to the game, you probably don't know who's, like, old, but you can kind of tell just, like, you know, if it's, like, a, a Bond or, like, a, a, you know, like, a Meliodas, like, most likely they're old unless they're, you know, um, like, Lost Vein or Assault Mode, whatever the case. But just, you know, make your decision based on, like, what you remember or what you know in terms of how good these characters are. Um, that's really what's gonna what it's gonna come down to so uh yeah that's the first bit of the video uh i'll make a note about the the next part when i get to it um uh, but for now you guys can just enjoy uh what happens right now and then i'll uh, talk when we get to the next important bit uh but enjoy Alright, so the next important bit here is me actually picking blue Tarmiel. So Tarmiel is a is a newer character compared to those other three. And uh, you guys can see here that me getting Tarmiel, it was actually such a big W because the next passive that I got, um, it was actually a passive that benefited me having three different, uh, you know, elements basically. Um, because I have three different typings on the team, I actually did get basic stats. You guys will see after this fight, I think I get that. Um, but it's very nice. It's very nice because I had this like combo where I did the Kizuna AoE and then I got the buff and then I was able to stance up with Tarmiel and I, I didn't necessarily have much issues on the first bit of the fight. So, um, yeah, I think the hardest part of the labyrinth is going to be the first bit. So if you can get past the first bit of the fight here and uh, kind of just, you know, cruise through, um, I think you'll be doing perfectly fine, man. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're just, uh, you know, killing the 
the uh, R units here and uh, Gustav is the uh, SR so we are just killing those units yeah so we get the kill and uh, yeah I think right at right here is where I get the UR passive so let's see if this is actually it, it it's either here or a little bit later uh, oh, okay, it's a little bit later. Okay, but uh, basically I do get a passive where if I have three different attributes I get 30% basic stats. I don't know if that's like coming up or if like, you know, I get it like, uh, you know Kind of in the future, but I did get that passive. It was very nice Um, Right here. I actually do pick green Merlin because I was like, oh, you know extra gauge in the back Like that could be pretty nice, you know if I could push like an ultimate so I was like, okay, we'll take Merlin um, We definitely had to take a unit there and I think the front line was already very good right um was it here uh no okay so it was in the next okay so it was in the next floor i guess i got it yeah i i don't really remember i don't really recall but yeah i stuck with this team basically the entire uh labyrinth you guys will see man i basically just started upgrading the team because i thought it was very good i got really really good passes and because of that i was able to just kind of just you know steamroll through um but yeah man it, it was it was not too bad so, yeah, we get the heal here, and then we go into the boss fight of floor 1. Um, nothing too special about this. If you have shield hero characters, they're going to tank very well. Like, Garage just does not do damage. Um, but, yeah, that's basically all to note about that. We'll come back when I have another thing to take note about. Um, but enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so here we go. Here's the next part of the, the fight where I was getting like a really nice passive. So right there, filling the ultimate move gauge for the allies on the battlefield. Um, if they, uh, what is that? Different attributes or different races, I think. It was different races. So I would get three gauge for, for every time I load into the fight and I start the fight going first, I get three gauge. Plus I had Merlin backline giving me one gauge. So I had like a super synergistic team, I thought. Um, and it was actually a very nice team because I had both the Kizuna ult, which did increase my damage dealt, and I had Tarmiel ult to keep my su sustainability because you guys don't know, Tarmiel does provide healing. So it was a very nice combo that I had there in terms of being able to, you know, kind of breeze through this fight uh, fairly easy, right? And uh, a lot of these character picks I decided not to take because I was just like, oh, you know, the team I have right now is like perfect. I don't really need to worry about that, right? Um, but yeah, so... You know going through it was pretty good but obviously a lot of this is going to come down to your intuition on uh grand cross knowledge guys if you know like what's good to pick up usually you go with like super awakening over levels because you get extra sub stats and if we if we're looking at like the fights in general like i'm just you know i'm using those passes to kind of you know take advantage of this so you guys will see right here i got all three of my teammates alts in this one turn instantly because uh you know I was able to merge a card there with Philo, and I was able to attack with both Kizuna and Tarmiel, and so I was able to get both their ultimates. So, 
Um, very nice. So I do the Kizuna all to get the damage dealt increase. Then we Tarmiel all so we can heal up. And then f uh, follow up with Philo all to get the kill. So, like, that's basically how the rest of the fight went. Um, so I'll let you guys know if there's anything notable. Um, I, I, I might have got that, uh... Now that I recall, I think I might have got that passive, like, before I even mentioned about it. <laughs> I, I might have got that UR passive, like, right around the beginning. I, I'm, I might have, like, completely uh, missed it, but... Uh, yeah, I definitely did get that passive, though, and it was really helping the, the team for sure. Yeah, as you guys can see, I was getting a lot of awakening, a lot of, uh, you know, oh, pretty nice getting that. And, yeah, I'll, I'll make note again. Uh, we'll see later in the video if I have something else to say, but uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so the, the this part of the video right here is where we're actually fighting the boss for the second floor of the labyrinth. This is the Gloxinia. He's actually not too bad. Um, I would say kind of just make sure you get your rank 3 debuff immunity if you can with Kizuna so you don't get debuffed. Because um, the Gloxinia does have Ruin on his ultimate. But if you have like gauge reduction, you can cheese with gauge reduction as well. Um, I was able to take the Gloxinia gauge every you know few turns. And it, it, I think it did benefit the team for sure. Um, I don't know if this was, yeah, I, I went for that. I probably should have just Philo ulted. Um, probably would have killed. But yeah, Tarmiel just did not do enough damage there. And I probably just wasted an extra turn when I didn't need to. Um, and then he got the Ruin ultima on me as well. Um, and it was a little bit unfortunate, but I do heal up the HP back regardless uh, on the next part of the fight. So I wasn't necessarily too worried. Um, but that was a very easy fight for sure. Like, like I think this Labyrinth compared to the last one, if you guys were there for the last Labyrinth, the last one was a lot more difficult than this one. Because this one, um, you have access to all the Shield Hero characters even if you don't own them. They give you the option to pick them. And right here, I got the option to pick Raftalia, but I was like, you know, there's no real need to pick Raftalia. Uh, because she needs a full team that's blue, right? And and I was thinking about it. I was like, there's no point of even bringing her, even even though she is a shield hero character. I think like Philo and Kizuna are gonna be your main, uh, you know, really good characters for this, uh, you know, for this uh, labyrinth for sure. I mean, you know, now Fumi would be good too. But I didn't even see now Fumi when I was going through my run. Um, but you could probably get him too. So if you did get now Fumi, like you know, you could pick him up for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I'll make note about uh, another thing probably in, later in the video, uh, but enjoy the rest of the video uh, for what it has to offer.
All right, guys, we're on the boss. Um, going into this fight, I was less CC. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know like exactly what the CC requirement was for Monspeed, but it's probably like 120k. Um, but it wasn't necessarily too bad. I mean, he was obviously doing a good amount of damage to my field load there. So you just want to watch out for him debuffing you. When he debuffs you, he does a lot of damage. So getting the rank 3 Kizuna um, is going to be very nice. And another thing to take into account about Monspeed is that he does all lock you as well. So if I was able to get the rank 3 uh, Kizuna like, debuff immunity, that would have been very nice. Because I probably just could have went for the ultimate instantly. But... Um, I decided to use the buff instantly just to kind of tank, uh, but I definitely could have held on to it and I would have got that, you know, I would have top decked that Kizuna card. I could have went for the debuff immunity and just like pushed ultimates at that point. But, you know, a little bit misplayed for me, but it, it wasn't too bad. Like, I, I didn't really necessarily have to worry uh, throughout this uh, labyrinth when I had this setup. Um, cause Philo and, and Kizuna just being a combo together, very good. And Tarmiel just being like that character that can, you know, have the utility of the gauge reduction and, and the healing with his ultimate. Like it was very nice, man. So, um, yeah, guys, that's basically it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. That's, uh, you know, pretty much the fight. I mean, I do win when I get my ultimates here. I have my Philo ultimate. I just like nuke him with it. So, uh, yeah, pretty easy. And we do get the 30 gems at the end for the labyrinth here. Um, but yeah, man pretty good pretty good i'm glad it's easier uh, than the last one because the last one was super difficult but um i'm glad they are making it a lot easier for the newer players to kind of get into this because it's a really a really fun game mode for sure so that's gonna be it i'll see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day